If a ball at a height of h meters is dropped, the length of time it takes to hit the ground is t equals the square root of h over 4.9, where t is the time in seconds. In part a, if a ball is dropped from twice its original height, how will that change the time it takes to fall? Rewrite the equation. If a ball is dropped from twice its original height, we can replace h with 2h. This gives us t equals the square root of 2h over 4.9. Now rewrite the radical as a product so we can separate the new information from the initial information. This gives us the square root of 2 times the square root of h over 4.9. So, it takes root 2 times longer than the original time. Now we'll move on to part b. If a ball is dropped from one quarter of its original height, how will that change the time it takes to fall? Rewrite the equation. If a ball is dropped from one quarter of its original height, we can replace h with 1 over 4h. This gives us t equals the square root of h over 4 times 4.9. Now rewrite the radical as a product so we can separate the new information from the initial information. This gives us t equals the square root of 1 over 4 times the square root of h over 4.9. The square root of 1 over 4 is 1 over 2. The new time is 1 half of the original time. Now we'll move on to part C. The original height of the ball is 4 meters. Complete the table of values and draw the graph. Do your results match the predictions made in parts A and B? Rewrite the equation and set up the table of values. The time for the ball to drop from the original height, 4 meters, is 0 0.9035 seconds. The time for the ball to drop from double the original height, 8 meters, is 1.2778 seconds. The time for the ball to drop from one quarter of its original height, 1 meter, is 0 0.4517 seconds. Plot the points and draw the graph. Now we'll test the result from part A, where the ball was dropped from double the original height. The higher drop takes 1.414 times longer than the original drop. This is the same as root 2, our answer from part A. Now we'll test the result from part B, where the ball was dropped from one quarter the original height. The lower drop takes 0 0.5 times longer than the original drop. This is the same as 1 half, our answer from part B.